This is the Rambassador of the UK, Ian Burrell. Ian, congratulations, mate. Cheers, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's go back a few years okay. when it was just an idea in your head. We were sitting down in Cottons and you were telling me about the idea. What did you want to achieve then? What I wanted to achieve was uh, trying to create a show where people really got a flavour of what rum is. Um, just for the mainstream, they think rum is just a spirit you drink, you get drunk. That's not what it's about. One, rum is about sipping and savouring. Two, rum is about a lifestyle. It's more than a spirit, it is a lifestyle. So I went to create a lifestyle show uh, with music, with food, with cocktails, with rum, education, knowledge, everything. But everything is bind together with rum. We have tourist boards here, travel agents. We're promoting rum tours. We do rum and chocolate, chefs cooking with rum, rum cakes. Everything. Rum is more than a spirit, as I say. And that's what I want to do, and that's, what, that's what's happening at the moment. Now that you're down the line, you know, we're here at the XL Centre. How do you feel, and, and where do you see it going now? Well, I can only see it going bigger and stronger. Every year, I try to recreate the show to make it like it's its first year. Um, we've been in four different locations in six years. I always try to, try to reinvent it, because that's the only way to keep it fresh. We have a lot of customers that come, on a regular, that come here every year. Um, so coming to the XL, we did it this year because it's Olympic year, so we want to be in an Olympic venue. And for me, on a personal note, one of the, one of the way, reasons I created the Rum Fest, because I remember being at uh, World Travel Market in the Caribbean section, and I looked at all the countries there and all the tourist boards, and I said, I wish that this could have been a Rum Festival. <laughs> and then, uh, two years later, I created a Rum Festival. And that's why we're back here, because it was right here, in this arena here, where it happened. With just a Rum Fest, but the way that Rum, the perception of Rum, yeah. and it generally, you know, you're right, it's not, oh, yes, sometimes it's about plonking a bottle down on a table and going hell for leather. But, you know, there's a lot of rums in here that can compete with some of the finest cognacs and whiskies in the world. You know what I mean? And, and you single-handedly have managed to, to give that exposure and you've got to be credited for that, man. Well done. Cheers, man.